Hello everyone, my name is Devon. Again, I would like to welcome you to Faith from Above. We have again another story for you and get ready because we're going to listen to how the Lord really uses young people today in 2020 to make a difference in the world. I want to, before I introduce you to the story of today with Crystal again with us. Thank you, Crystal, for joining us again. Uh, I wanted to remind you of the Ethiopian eunuch. You know, he was reading the Bible in the book of Isaiah. He understood what he said, but he did not understand what was it about. Many times there are people out there that are reading the Bible. They understand what they say, but they cannot just, they cannot see Jesus in the stories of the Bible. And when we have literatures with us that really shows people where is Jesus in the Bible, I think it becomes a duty for us to take it to everyone in the world. So friends, today Crystal is going to share with us a story that will show you that there is a time that territory doesn't matter. God will do something to make people be reached. Thank you, Crystal, for joining us. Tell us, how was it for you? Yes, it's been a tremendous blessing just looking back on what God has done. Mm -hmm. We can truly see that his hand was over, you know, in everything that we did. Not only, you Amen. know, our students, but especially the territory, you know, being uh, meeting the people where they were at. Mm -hmm. And I remember there was this one day where, um, you know, I was leading and I was not um, doing my territory, meaning that, um, you know, we, mm -hmm. we delegate which sections, you know, and in the town or what towns we do. Mm -hmm. So I was not in my town, the one that I had um, chosen, but it was my friends and she had already worked around mm. there. And I didn't know which ones she had done um, sim because we were um, dealing with the car issues that mm -hmm. I was sharing with you. So while she was fixing, um, you know, uh, getting that situated, I wasn't there in the area. So I had to take over and, you know, lead out for that day basically and while i was doing that i was just praying like lord please to show me where do i drop my students off and as i was doing that i come to the street i said this is the one and i see and i turn to my students and i tell them has anybody done this house <laughs> does anybody <laughs> you know does this look familiar to anybody and you know there was a moment of silence uh no 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 <laughs> you know um so i said okay so here you're going to so and so you're going to be here going to go forward you know coming up to one block at the t-cross or work back long story short <coughs> and they kept on going and i was just praying like lord please work a miracle mm -hmm. right in a few minutes mobile one i need books mobile one mm -hmm. i need books and i was just like praise god you know that god is working already and as I come and I drop off books to one of my students, I decide to stay with her and, and do mm -hmm. one of the houses that she was at. And I remember seeing that as we were knocking, um, there was this little, um, like, this little poster board on the on the um, on the door hanging and it was amazing grace how sweet mm. the sound and you know we we're just like oh how about if we call her and you know we we sing to her and you know we <laughs> basically serenade her <laughs> now the only, the only reason why we were saying oh let's call her is because on there was a little um postcard mm. on the door that said if i don't answer the door i'm here just call me wow but so she had her number there uh, the number there right That's there and uh, we saw the amazing grace and we we were just thinking oh let's call her and let's serenade her you know singing amazing grace right it would be a uh, good icebreaker but um my friend she's like yeah yeah let's call her but the only thing is that it only had the phone number and not the area code and my friend didn't know the area code mm -hmm. but because i was there i knew the area code oh, of wow. that place <laughs> and i was like oh oh it's this this and this you know so she was able to call and she and, and the <laughs> lady she answered and she says hello and um my friend my uh counseling friend she said hey, um, we are here at your door and, um, you know, we want to show you some books and basically, you know, introduce ourselves to her and shared with a little bit of what we're doing. And she's like, okay, I have guests over, but, um, and my friend, she's like, we'll share it with you really quick. So she comes over, the lady, she comes out of the house and she's <laughs> like, hey, and she looks at us and <laughs> she says, what are you doing? And she starts off with saying, I have guests, I I don't have much time, basically. Mm -hmm. And my friend, she's like, 
it's okay, it will be really quick. So she starts showing her the different books and she's like, wow, thi this is nice. And, um, you know, she starts saying how she's so thankful that, mm. um, you know, we came by to her door and how she herself, she loves to study the Bible as well. She's a music teacher and all of these different things. And, uh, you know, it's just such a beautiful experience. And at the end of it, she says, well, okay, s um, let me go and see what I have. I don't mm -hmm. have much, but um, let me see what I have. She comes back and she brings enough donations to get four books. Wow. But she's like, <laughs> oh, oh, but I don't want to take everything. I, I, I just have my, um, my son-in-law um, that he, um, he studies like theology. He, mm -hmm. you know, shares with the, with the wow. kind of like a youth pastor. He mm -hmm. does something along those lines. And he's like, oh, perfect. Wow. Let me share with you and my friend. We, um, and I, we show her the great controversy. And um, they call him Jesus, which is basically just our wages. And, you know, she was just so excited. She's like, I'll take these. Yeah. And uh, she was able to take them. But it's just so beautiful to think that if I wasn't there, you know, at that time to give her the area code, that lady would have never came out. Mm. Um, nor could have we got in contact with her because wow. we were knocking and knocking and nobody came out. But mm. the interesting thing is that she says she had visitors, but she had, you know, she was willing to listen to us and these books were able to stay there. But it doesn't stop Praise there. God. It doesn't stop there, Devon. Tell me, tell me. <laughs> so later on, uh, we're telling this story and one of, um, you know, for the next mm -hmm. day and just sharing praises, you know, and with, the, with the rest of our friends uh, for worship. And one of the other canvassers, uh, she says, I canvassed that house, but that day I didn't have my phone with me, neither did I know the area code. Wow. So I couldn't do anything. <laughs> and, you know, as I was leading that day, um, you know, I came back and I brought the books, um, you know, to my canvassing friend. And while we were still canvassing that previous day, people were calling in, uh, Mobile One, I have already done this street before, mm. but it was after we had already like gone to that house and many books were going out wow. by then so that it's like good. <laughs> you know and it's just so amazing to see how god allowed us to redo those streets where people mm. had already canvas where you know my canvassing team had already canvas but for the simple fact that god wants to reach these people you know because he has a message god is amazing mm -hmm. he really is i remember when jesus was trying to go to a certain city i don't remember the name of the city right now mm -hmm. But the disciples told him, they were trying to kill you there last time. Mm. Are you going to return there again? Mm. But he went, and it was a blessing for the people, for him to be there for such a time. So to know that God brought you back to the same, in, I mean, the same territory, that's, that's like, right. you cannot, it's a no-no in canvassing. <laughs> but there you show up just to be a blessing. If that was the only person, it was worth it. It was. Praise God, yeah. Crystal. Thank you so much, friends. Again, join us at OHC.org. Be part of these amazing stories. Don't listen to stories alone. Be part of the story. Amen. There is a world in need of Jesus, and we must demonstrate it to them. Thank you so much for joining us at Faith from Above, and you be blessed. Amen. Mm -hmm.